And we are so back, Mac. We are here, Lin Vision versus the Cube. A little bit of a bait and switch there, a little cheeky pause before we head into the game. But it's Duke, baby, ready to rock and roll. Hopefully we've got a, a little fun one with clearly Lin Vision picking up that knife there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get. You never know what you're going to get in Asian CS, but hopefully it's fun, hopefully it's exciting, and hopefully it is entertaining. That's what we're all here for, you know? Mate, it's always entertaining. entertaining. You know that. You know that. That's what we're looking for. And the cube looks like they are looking for the A site. We're going to bust on with some flashes, some mollies. Oh, not going to be able to fall out at all. <laughs> Julie straight in their face. Amelia shutting them down in this round. Oh, could go the favorite cube if they get these trades, which they will. Yeah. I was going to say, don't uh, count your chickens before they hatch or whatever it is. Starry, though, finding his way through the smoke. That was our player to watch. Saka will drop onto the woods. Sight, Cloudon, relatively low. Bomb obviously retrievable here. Just going to shoulder it out. Now, this is the real game of Cat and Mouse. He's actually going to head back. Try to put his way in towards lobby. Julius will be picked up. Zacker actually wants to fight this. It's going to be a tricky one. Cloudon. Ooh. He's going to pick that up. So, yeah, all Amelia's hard work uh, for Nortmac. If they get there, t side pistol on the board is something you certainly love to see, especially if you're one of the Mongolian fans chilling in chat. But can they double it down? And let's see what the CTs opt to do. I'm seeing a lot of USPs there. So we're probably just full saving. Playing it appropriately. Getting some guns for the next. A little bit of extra util. Uh, except for Starry, who actually it might be someone else. Looks like Westmelon has dropped him. The Deeg, and I'm seeing a Taser in there. Might be able to get some Zeus action for Westmelon. If the cube walk into his position there in the hut. Very cheeky. It's one of those patience games. Make sure you don't lose too much. I do like the approach from the cube, just holding lobby. Rancho Relaxo. Not doing anything here. Lin Vision also big chilling. A little bit of an opening spot there. Nicely done. Gonna be able to find that opening there. Starry already going down. And Cloudon picking up another one onto West Mellon. So they are starting to put the pedal down a little bit here, taking on towards the top side. But there's Zaka with that deagle you were mentioning. Ooh. Back and another shot. Cloudon, P2000, making it work. Got to be careful, though. HE in towards heaven, making it awkward. Still should be able to find the plan here. But uh, look, Lin Vision are getting some damage done. What do you do with the P2K, though? Not a lot. Holy Sana going to be able to Ooh. Ooh, take his buddy head off. Mac 10 Gaming finds one, but two goose. Swift on the trade. And Zaka now... 1v2 angle with the deagle. It is potentially winnable, but where's he going? Doesn't Where want is it. he going? Wrapping around, maybe looking to go for some exits on the lobby side. Yeah. And he's switched on. He's going the right way. The T's. Are they coming this way? They got to run. They got to go. This bomb blows up with an extraordinary radius on Nuke. Ooh. And the Pika's advantage wins that one. Tugu switched on. Gets the final blow. And Cube... Two on the board, nice and early. Absolutely. Two weapons saved over. Certainly not as much as they would have liked. Cash is uh, not exactly their best friend at this point in time, but mm. T side, you know, usually a little bit easier. They're just going to dive in, find a uh, couple of Galils here. Mac 10 for Tugu, dropping over that AK. So reinvestment's decent. Linvision got all that what they need. No kits, just a little bit of extra utility. Starry getting taken down there as well. Find that Deagle earlier on. Okay, faster one. Straight out into the M4s, but Amelia holds that one down. G slides in with some aggression of his own, and the A-site defense is locked the hell in. Sonk, what you got for us, mate? Oh, he's not quite heard that ladder. I thought Starry might have made a bit too much noise. But there might be a chance here for him to get someone getting too big for their boots, but I'm liking Linvision's Discipline to just rotate back, play together over towards Hell and Heaven, play that numbers game. What's he going to do here? How long does he want to uh, tempt fate? Very quick round. The cube getting made mincemeat very, very quickly by Amelia and G. Just going to wander through the smoke now, try and find a little bit of decent time. He may catch Amelia. He will. But he just spotted out immediately up from the rafters. And Zaka happy to swing down. Punish accordingly. So that's a good round from Lin Vision. Three alive. No pressure really sort of found there, which is exactly what you should be expecting from these boys. So opening round with the guns. 
Cube will be looking to take a save here. 1,400. Not the best position for them. And that's, you know, the damage done from that uh, eco round, Max. So the Cube yeah. already sort of feeling the struggles. Holy Sana. Just either calling or uh, deciding how to utilize that money. A little bit laid out of spawn. And then Vision Gaming not taking too much space for free there. They are just going to run it back through the default util. Nice nade. Bowls clouding down 52. And ooh, another over towards trophy. Doesn't get much ooh. done. Tugu, though. Sharp as nails with that shot. Absolutely. Very good position to find that shot. Envision, gotta be careful. Not wanting to lose too much more in a round like this. But yeah, again, it's just cutting noise, playing time. Wait, nice and casual for them to approach. Got plenty of util. Gonna get that smoke down towards trophy. And G, just sort of watching the spot as well outside. But the cube, they're all sitting lobby. Again, waiting for any sort of mistakes to come out from Limvision. No one wanting to give him an inch. Zach are in a solid spot here. He can fall off after taking the first fight. Oops, spots him. Knows that they are going to be running him right on down G. Just trying to draw attention. And Zach stays to fight the... Oh... Staggered push has not gone well at all for the cube. Tugu, pretty sharp with the D. Gets yeah. another on the G, but Amelia saving that day from the bottom of ramp. And look, shout out to Zaka for making that one work for himself, getting four there. But that comes down to the cube just going one by one. You could uh, see that one not working for him without yeah. the coordinated drop. Absolutely. Just a bit of a train attempt. Tugu, though, yeah. Hitting a couple of Sharpies, six and three. It's always interesting, though, you know, especially they're going for this half by here now, just getting the Mac 10, couple of techies, going for a bit of a quicker approach, potentially where they're looking. Is it event drop? We'll have to give it some time. But yeah, haven't really had that sort of appropriate vibe we've been looking for. Okay, Mac is top side rush. Did try to get down the vents. Bonk will be taken. Sonk, rather. And uh, Sana also being falling on the way out. So, rest of the team kind of baiting there, letting them uh, all sort of fall out. Three alive, but this is going to be a really, really tough one. Linvision are locked in on this top side. Slowing it down, just making sure that they can potentially get some damage onto Linvision's economy here. They've been doing well in the previous rounds. You can see as well, a couple of them are financially struggling. So the more damage. The merrier for the cube. It's not about what happens this round. It's about what happens in the future, you know? Mm. And guess what? I thought that was just me, but apparently it's also, all of us. It's one of those little cheeky moments where we freeze for a second and see what happens. But uh, I think we're going to be getting that one back in just a second. So... Uh, yeah, little freeze, but I don't know, Mac, what are you thinking so far? It's been pretty straightforward, you know, we haven't really kind of had a chance to see what uh, the side of the cube actually have got for us on this T side, you know, they get the pistol, they get the yeah. second round, but yeah, they've just sort of been limp ever since then, so hopefully into the next round we'll get something out of them, uh, just with a little bit more equipment behind them. Yeah, at the moment, yeah, things not looking super crash hot for the cube, they, yeah, got the pistol, and that's solid, but on the gun round so far falling quite short, and there's not a lot to really analyze. You know, we need to see him on another gun round. Who knows how that round ended up going, if that round ended up winning or finishing. Could still be going. You never know. It's, you never uh, know. One of those situations. Mm, mm, yeah. Absolutely. So just a cheeky little tech issue on our side. So hopefully that'll get resolved very, very soon. But yeah, I don't know. It's been, I like a good nuke, Mac. I think it's been a map, obviously, that's been explored for so many years now. Uh, obviously, if we sort of roll back to our times, you know, it was one of those maps that only really got sort of picked up for one team in Os, and then ultimately it started to get picked up by everyone else for a little while. Yeah. So it's a goodie. But no, looks like it was Lin Vision that walked away with that one as expected. Now, Holy Sana also getting taken down here. So not the start that the cube were hoping for. What's Amo going to be able to do for us here? He's got a lot of space to work with it out. He only really has to worry about Starry. In Annex or Mini for all you uh, European or late staying 
North American individuals. <laughs> That'd be bloody morning time, real early in the morning. In the old US of eight, Zaka dropping a molly. Knows that he had to give up ramp there, and we'll just play his life down towards that lower side. In the meanwhile, G, crack a shot onto Amo, and the outer's lurk is not going to be able to get activated. In the meanwhile, though, ooh, what does Zaka do here? G, ooh. missed opportunity. What's going on there? Managed yeah. to get it on the second attempt. Thought that was going to be a collateral there, but ultimately they just hesitate, really, the cube here. Very sort of individualistic approach I'm noticing. No one sort of happy to kind of dive in, right? It seems like a very self-centered focus. I don't know how to put it. Just not trading, not 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 breaking that space and, and heading down together. Yeah. Seems to be a little bit hesitant around the bend. Hopefully they will pick that up. It's just going to be another eco for now though. Linvision sort of really starting to roll with it. Cash is good. Control is there. They haven't been tested or pushed or traded off any sort of position since the guns have been picked up by them. Thought maybe there'd be a world where we'd see a faster approach, but the Outer's Molly slows down any aggression in that regard. Starry waiting for the swing on Silo. Shoulder surely spotted. Ooh. And he's feeling more crispy. Starry decides against going for the repeat. Use the line. Unbreakable instead, and we'll fight this individual. Ooh. Lucky to be alive, though. Yeah. Let's see where Tugu is. He's the one with that sharp dig. But, he, okay, there he is. He's found. Starry's going to rip his head off. A little bit of damage, though, dealt. I suppose Peppered, you know, not exactly a bad result. Holy Sana going to get taken down, though. There you go. Amelia's gone for that clear out towards red. Easy peasy. And, yeah, Zaka hasn't really had to do a whole lot in this round either. Just holding down ramp. Sonk now. Picking his head out of the hut. Bomb will be recovered. Cloudon going to send it outside. So again, it's still going to be a bit of a toughie as Amelia pops back into Annex. Ooh. Hits it this time. And a lackluster round coming through from the cube. Sonk hoping he can find someone sneaking on A-site. But as we know... Westmelon, he's just chilling on idiot wall. The off angle should be very strong here, and it will be. Solid round, five alive, and Lin Vision locking in. Five in a row now. Yeah, no stress. Not a single sweat on their brow. Losing out the pistols, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. It was a pretty close round as well. Amelia had that double up with the Julies and just traded out. It is always that funny approach, Mac, isn't it? Sort of where there's some levels of inexperience. The way you'll approach a round with pistols, completely different kind of level of confidence to a round that you'll approach with uh, rifles there. So, I don't know. Just need to see the cube take a little bit more of a forward-thinking approach as a group, as a five. Nuke is such an imperative map to have that happen. Looks like Cloudon already picking up the pace, already at red. He's going to cross straight in towards lowers. That's a good molly. It's going to pepper him down. But 75% and he will be down there. Starry shouldn't get any further info. G is going to be spotting down. He's already taken low, but straight onto that line. I don't think Cloud's going to have the timing right here. Oh, done. The jiggle into the slow walk that uh, unfortunately is never going to go well against the AWP there. Posted from Decon. And the cube now regrouping at lobby. And it looks like they're just going to hold. Hit those brakes. No one going to T-Roof. Be late door bust considering where they are positioned unless Sonk goes up to T-Roof. Looks like that might be the angle. But this is going to be a late hit on A. Slow and steady as always. G rotating out now. So again, they'll just be the two members defending. But again, very forward thinking positioning from West Mellon. The captain. Doing all that util now. Gonna be trying to fang their way out towards door. The top site utility will be thrown. And as they make their way out, Westmel is surely gonna be getting all of this information. Amelia can just continue to play the offline, but they try to drop down the vent. Starry will take down Tugu. That smoke obviously still there. They do manage to get in towards position. Amo is gonna be able to clear around down towards double doors at the very, very least. So they've got some sort of presence, but Mac, 15 seconds. Song's getting taken down by Westmelon as well. And again, they are just so split up. No time. G, straight on the line. Does miss the shot, but, but again, five seconds. It's going to be a really, really awkward one. Sana will take one, but G will hit the crispy little headshot there. 
right on the line. Pixel walk. And yeah, just not enough time, not enough confidence. The cube, they lose another. Why does G keep missing the easy ones and hitting the hard ones, huh? What's going on what's, here, G? Come on. What's the, uh, the, the, the window? Who is the guy again? They had the 50-degree window or something like that. He'd always hit the flicks that was crazy. So they missed the easy ones. Oh, man, that's going to eat with me. There's so many. Yeah, <laughs> Draken, Draken, Draken. That's it. Right. There's yeah. a lot of AWPers that uh, unfortunately have that, especially right now with CS2. Yeah, Sometimes. for sure. The way that the game works, right, like... There's a mechanic in CS2 that I swear wasn't in CSGO where like if you're getting shot at but you have body armor in CSGO, your bullets would go where you were shooting still. But in CS2, yeah. it's like you still have aim punch even if you have armor and it yeah. just makes your bullets inaccurate. So if you've been shot in the same tick, which is now larger because we're stuck on 64 tick. So if you get shot in the same tick as you shoot, you will not be accurate. And mm. that's, that's why you see a lot of these random clips where people look like they're whiffing but they're actually just getting shot, which is why their bullets aren't going where they should be going, you know? So, a lot more RNG currently in CS2. And rounds like that are not going to go super well. The Envision, very ready for the bust on upper. Yeah. That makes it look really easy again. The cube just sort of funneling out one by one by one. It's been a bit of a broken record sort of cast for myself in that regard. Just witnessing the same old, same old over and over. And sort of shows, I guess, how important it really is to establish a CT side, I, I gather, like getting that opening in the knife round and, and converting accordingly. Because, yeah, the cube has only found their pistol rounds and it was off the back of Linvision playing a little bit of silly buggers. What do we got here? The outers, Starry, going all the way to the top of warehouse. Hasn't been seen. And G, going to hit that easy one. Nice aggression. Draws attention from the silo player. Starry takes him accordingly. And this is looking like it is just going to be the merry man all picked apart yet again. Molly towards the top of secret and Cloud and... Ooh, ooh his protocol to go not through him. the smoke. He made some footsteps, you're right. But let's see if this is the round that the cube can find. Still got a bit of work to do. At least that position though. Taking down Starry, pretty important pick. Westmelon's going to drop down lowers, which is where the sort of audible has been sent towards. But still two members up here. Tugu's going to be taking that bomb in towards Annex. Information gathered. Cloud in. We'll find Saka. So here we go, Mac. Maybe a chance now for the cube. This is this whole thing. They've been grouping. They've got the space. And now it's going to be Amelia and Westmelon rotating up from secret here. So Cloud is going to have to try and find that extra control. A little bit hesitant, but he tucks his way into vents. And yeah, they're going to be walking up. So Annex is going to be a big talking point here. It's going to come in, looking to break that one. Oh. Smoke. Oh, no, Tugu might get caught out, but Amelia only good for one. Cloud and closes it, and that's a big round from the C-Man. Yeah, huge round to win. And one that might get the cube back into the game. If they can manage to turn this into three more in a row, get five on the board, man, they're laughing. Blind Vision, this is where they need to really lock in again. They got plenty of money to buy in this round, in the next round, and potentially find themselves nine but hopefully they clean it up they don't make those silly little mistakes that they made in the last round all we can hope for seven five would not be a bad shout sorry though taking out holy sana a little unfortunate there getting papered through the smoke always does feel a little bit painful but zaka secondary orp up holding on to that line so much control established by these guys. G picking up another one alongside Starry. As you said, pick from Unbreakable. Looks a little bit too easy here as Zaka finds Cloud. And once again, you know the cube in a position where they're very split up across the map. The defaults have not been working against Lin Vision's individuals in the 1v1v1s. Song. Just nice angle clearing, but walking into Zaka's AWP is potentially going to go wrong. Ooh, doesn't overstep his boundary. Has those two flashes. Now we're going to see this one played. Oh, wide swing. No chance for a trade. Zaka real quick right now. Yep. And the D-Flash is not going to blind him. Oh, Ooh. Mitch. 
two orbs to get past, and he oh thought he might have gotten past both of them, but he did. 92 <laughs> to one, 90 to the other. Unlucko Malako as Lin Vision take eight. It's just so wild in their position now. Hey, four AKs and orb. Zachar actually dropped his orb over for the AK. Last round, plenty of deagles for the crew. Everyone can get whatever they want. Anything from the store. The whole yeah. trolley deer. But yeah. I don't know. Really is just that tail as old as time. The cube. Getting split up. Unable to kind of find themselves. And look, you know, overall, especially sort of at this level, I guess, you know, Nuke is still an extremely challenging map to play. The depth and the time in the uh, pool that has been now. It can be a very challenging one on that uh, T side to, to be found. Needs a lot of drilling, a lot of honing. There you go, Cloudon. We'll be able to find at least one under Starry. So that's an important opener. And once again, they'll set back towards this default. A little bit of positioning towards outers. Not bad, not bad. With those picks, Tugu at least able to find the trade. And we're going to see the cube speed things up towards lower this time. But the bomb's still over towards T-spawn. Lobby control in the hands of the cube. And Zaka, what a flick on that one. Tugu. Man, he's going to be feeling that for days. Pain in the membrane. Oh. Nearly gets one back. Should be second, though. Samo, a little bit of a worrisome one there. A little bit of a tap up now. And yeah, Holy Sana left alone with the techie. Does have a molly to at least send down. Should be weapons around for the man to recover as well. Looking for the AK. There it is. Definitely doable. You know, two orps. Find the 1v1s. Find the position. But that ultimately does take it down. We'll need to swing on to G here, but G's going to be able to find the shot. It's a little bit too easy for LV, and uh, yeah, we'll find out if they can turn it back around very shortly.
9-3 was the half, Mac Daddio. And uh, all we can sort of hope for here is that the cube pick up. And, uh, you know, this time now on towards the CT side. At least they've got a little tiny bit of a buffer with three. Maybe a pistol round and a conversion. Could bring this game back to life. Certainly could. But let's see if the cube can get across the line. Because we got a charging train straight out the Ooh. door. And you know what the Glocks can do if they're oh. hitting you. And it's a <laughs> lot. It is God. more than enough. <laughs> What do you even do there, man? <laughs> Absolutely not. Right. You're yep. not allowed to do anything. Lin Vision, mean business. They're here to close it out. They said, look, those rounds took way too long in the first half, guys. You played boring Counter-Strike. You sat there in lobby for a minute and 20 before hitting sites. Bruh, come on. We're better than that. We'll show you how it's done. Bam, straight out door. Straight for the dub, and sometimes up against the pistols, another fast round will not go astray. Looks like we will have a cheeky tech, though. Someone probably lagging here. Things happen. It's A-OK. -okay. Bear vision, as you mentioned, Mac. Really wanted to close this out. Do it as quickly as they can. They've earned themselves that little extra bit of rest in between the next map, of course, that we will have not too far after this one. Always the two lots of best of ones in the current competition format. Lots of other teams ultimately playing on at the same time too. Lots of uh, Counter-Strike being played inside this tournament per use. So let's see what they got. Pause is done. Back into it. Galils, AKs, MAC-10s, full eco for the cube. So they do want to play, but they're going to wait to play a little bit longer. And this stack as well, I do like it, but... Second, that's one spotted out. They'll get all the info. Starry, the transfer. It was beautiful. Sunk, almost getting taken down. Now it's just going to be onto Amelia to spot back. What's blue? Oh my god, I thought he hit that. But uh, they decide warehouse. Bunnings on a Saturday. No snags. And in the end, it will be Lin Vision walking away with their 11th. Two more to go. Yeah, no snags, no deal. That's what I say. But where do they go? Into round 15. That's the real question that is on everyone's lips right now. And the cube, they are going on to a buy. They've got a chance to stand and fight. And I'm just looking at the KDs so far. I was trying to ignore them for the first half, but we are 14 rounds deep in a game of Counter-Strike. Sonk's got two kills. Amo's got three. They have really met their makers with Lin Vision here. And we'll see how, I guess, the next map goes, but we'll also see how this round goes. Amo... Repeaking the line. Won't find anything. Deep wall of smokes as well. So Lin Vision should be able just to cross to secret. Doing the right thing. Not the same as my teammates in face it. When I throw that wall, they walk on the <laughs> fence on the backside and die to heaven. They don't realize how to use that wall. Uh, fortunately, Lin Vision do. And they're going to be able to make their way into secret. Although they've lost two in the meanwhile. One that was already down on the lower side. And West Melon here lurking. Might allow them to go back up, or if he gets this job done, he's got a player at Zywu. Cloudon gets the bomb in lowers, and oh, Westmelon going to be seen. Not Fine. expecting Amo there. Yeah, definitely. Five alive for the cube. You know, they still do have that one round coffer before we hit up sort of that 12 12 position. So, still a chance, but you know, Lin Vision going to go in for another investment here. It's not going to be the best, but I don't think they really care. Just want to make sure that uh, they can go as hard as possible. Got a few more rounds before they need to have that conversation where it's like, relax, guys. Let's eat, go. You know, got to win the game. Got to close it out. You know, they can close it anyway with these techies and the glills. But it's going to be a full outside pop. Smokes go down. Red a little bit late. But there you go. Westmelon drops down Aemo. And ultimately, yeah, Tuku goes down as well. So Sonk's going to have to try go in. Pick up a little bit of the pieces here. Sana does manage to get one of the West Melon, so it's not all for naught just yet. Sonk, the timing. I'm actually not sure how he split the wickets there. Amelia has actually found the position, but it's lower hit. And yeah, it's almost too hard of a round here for the cube to come back in completely. Looking like they're just going to full clear outers. Make sure it's safe to save. Sonk might be able to find himself an upgrade if he's lucky. But he's making some noise now. you got Starry as well hearing all those footsteps, but not quite reacting to where they've gone just yet. Making sure that the spacing's on point. And ooh, 
Song has managed to get his mitts on the AK, but oh, holds it. Has to go for that reload. Steps coming and gets a nice timing onto G, who's playing silly buggers a little bit too hard right now. And Song needs to kind of run. He might be dead in this position. 66 points of health. Okay, he's good. Bomb wasn't planted too close to him. And you, uh, I'm still guessing it, man. It's all over the place with that bomb radius. But yeah. Lin Vision, they take 12, and they are looking to close this up 13 to 4. Just a little tickle. So now Sonk has had a little bit of a roughie, manages to put a couple more frags in the coffer there, 4 and 14. Hasn't been anyone sort of, you know, heavily falling behind the rest of the team, the cube. All sort of having a couple of moments here and there. Cloud and Turgu hit a few good shots. But yeah, look, you know, when you're up against a team with this experience in Lin Vision, the longevity of these players as a unit playing together for quite some time. I do like this from Amo though. Might be able to get one and two. He does get taken relatively low. Amelia will be able to find him inside the smoke in the end of it. But now on the top of Silo, Flash goes over the top. Tugu will be able to avoid that, but he gets spotted out. Amelia is f fighting for blood here. Westmelon's actually managed to slip the wickets as well. But in the end, Clouded will drop Amelia. It's all on the Westmelon in the 1v4. Good luck, mate. Rough position for him to be in. Liz Vent, no CTs on the lower side of the map. And the cube making some noise, letting him know that maybe there's a chance here. But in the meanwhile, he's taking his time. The cube uh, fully clearing out lobby, making sure that he's not lurking around. He's not sniffing out the wrong direction. But with that time ticking, you can see that Cloudon's starting to make his way to secret side. There's the information to alert, and he's dumped the molly real early. Has space to stick that one, and will be able to get to safety. Oh! As he play this one, unfortunately, not well. The, uh, CT's making that light work of him. Swinging double through the double door, and that's easy pickings. Absolutely. You always want to sort of will those rounds ahead. Try to see the 1v4 pulled off, but uh, in the end, uh, a little bit too hard. The cube were able to retake pretty solid there, and unfortunately for West Mellon, the positioning wasn't able to get up to Mega quick enough. So it doesn't work out for him here. And now I think this is the round where potentially we see them go, hey, nah, screw it. Fair enough as well. Match point. Got to get it done. So an investment. They've walked away with a round like this. Obviously only a couple to go anyway with two techies. This time it's three, but it's going to be the top side explosion again, Mac. Getting that top utility. And as they do start to move out, will be some focus towards the doors. Do they get down the vent? No, they're out, but it's Cloud and one, two, three. Cloud and will he get a fourth? He will. God, that was beautiful. Cloud and really starting to start to step up. The team in his backpack, 17 and 13. Lovely stuff from the big man. Maybe just getting the job done before it is too late. Still a long Hill to climb, though. Unfortunate that they couldn't do this a little earlier, but look, the T side of a nuke is sometimes a dangerous beast to tame. And so will Invision. This round, though, they are looking more like little pipsqueaks with just a deagle to get past. A couple of glocks. You never know. Agent CS, they could be at their most dangerous. Westmelon, however, looking the wrong way. Has not gone well. Big nade straight onto the head of Starry. Uh, as well as the... Dink around the corner. Amo, lucky to be alive. The CT's facing together, ready for the swing. Oh, 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 oh. Weren't ready to get uh, belted in the face. Yeah, what do you even do there? Starry, just absolute drive-by. Sunk rotating down, though, with the rest of the team. Amo trying to keep them away. But, you know, two members down here. They've obviously got the bomb in. It will be too good to find that shot. So, G, a long way away. Amelia going to try his best to get on towards that one. Looks like it will be that bomb smoke. So, no chance of the uh, defense. The bomb will be defused. So, Amelia just looking for some exit frags at this point in time. He will live on, but no weapon taken. Great shot on the song. It has just been getting absolutely slapped around this game. But... I don't know, Mac, you know, in the end, I, it is 100% Lin Vision just kind of throwing rounds away, right? You know, any more serious time where they were a little bit more concerned about the loss, they would have 
taking a knee, put the save down, focused up a little bit more, but they've just been forcing, they've been having fun, and yeah, you know, Cube gets seven rounds, they still need five, just don't really see it happen, but certainly yeah. more than I think Linvision would have liked to let slip up. Well, what have they got for us here? Linvision beating the Molly, and Starry playing a very dangerous game, but he will win this time. On half HP, down towards lower G. Knew exactly where Amo was playing from. And that's going to be the first pick of the round. Starry re-peaks that after just barely spotting a shoulder. And Cloud, and a pick like that can definitely keep the cube in this game. Yeah, for sure. Cloud has been keeping the team in the game, Mac. Full pressure onto him. But Zaka, will he look to find the timing here? Didn't actually go in towards the smoke. Fell away from Annex. Joining the rest of the team, secret control already gathered here a little bit now as uh, Holy Sana has to fall away now. Back to the double doors. Just going to wait. Mega open. They know they've got get control and Sonk wants to try find something off the back of it. But I don't know. Again, you know, the cube hesitating from taking these bits of position. And now Sana, he's going to be in for a rude awakening in just a second. Can he get multiple? No, only the one before Westmelon. We'll take his head off. Now information gathered onto Cloud and will be mollied out of the vents. And Ooh. great shot again from West Mellon. Sharp as attack. And that should be bombed down. And it should be game here as it's all left on a Tugu in the 1v3. Oh. Timing does not favor him. Molly in the way. Flashes his way to a pick and opts for the M4 instead and will commit to the ramp push. Go didn't on. want to double back. Didn't want to wait for the molly. Oh, he did wait for the molly, rather. But he's got to wait for yet another flash out the right side. Both the T's going to be looking in the exact right position. And how do they play it? Tucking, waiting. That molly won't burn. On the clock, spot, and Zaka is looking damn good. 13-2-7 is going to be the final score.